and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And if you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, we're over the top of the 2022 Toyota Tundra, guys. Now, there were some leaked pictures, but then Toyota decided, hey, we're just gonna give you one full picture of a TRD Pro, so here it is on the screen, guys. It looks great, in my personal opinion. It's more muscular than before. You can see the front end is big and bold. Now, looking at the leaked photos, you can kind of see the show the front end with the grill. Like I said, the grill's big. I like the light bar that's right, uh, right below the Toyota logo. It's a really cool little feature. But these headlights, these headlights are so sharp. They're very different, very unique. What I like about this vehicle overall is you can tell they spent a lot of time on it. The overall design, it's more boxy, more uh, masculine. I like the wheel wells. Nice little accent colors, and that's what you see throughout the whole vehicle. You can see the A pillar of the vehicle, it's blacked out, going to a very square off roof and design. Uh, overall, I'm really liking the design. Another leaked photo was the tailgate itself. You can see that the lights in the back, very sharp looking, and I love how it says TRD Pro stamped right in the tailgate. Now, we're not sure yet, but we're assuming that lower models will have the Tundra stamped in, just like the previous generation did, or maybe it'll say Toyota. Maybe there'll be options. We just don't know. That's the best thing about this, is we're getting these little teasers here and there. It's looking much more uh, uh, macho, a lot more capable than the last generation, and we still don't know information. We don't know towing, stuff like that, but we do know one of the engines. One of the engines is going to be a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine that's going to make 415 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque. Very impressive numbers. Now that engine will also be in the brand new Land Cruiser that just got debuted not that long ago. So it's cool to see that engine is going to be in a few different Toyota products. That engine's replacing the old V8 engine. Now I love that old V8 engine and I love the old uh, Toyota Tundras in general. They were still this big, bold truck that was still very, very reliable. I'm going to miss that old generation. I know it was long, around for a long, long time. But if you do want one, they'll probably have some great deals on it when this does uh, fully get unveiled and make it into production. But anyway, this truck, it looks great. I like the body lines. Very sharp. It's just a more modern truck overall. Toyota says there's going to be a lot, a lot of stuff going on with this vehicle, making it very competitive or even class leading. Now, I don't know anything about the interior yet. There's supposedly going to be a large screen, very luxurious materials. It's supposed to be a great cockpit overall. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. And one last thing is they did give us a little tease about the uh, iForce Max engine cover. Now you see the cover actually has a little bit of blue on there. And if you're familiar with Toyota products, if there's blue on the engine cover, that means it's a hybrid, guys. So there's a good chance that we'll get the hybrid power plant as well around the same time as launch, which would be a great thing to see. Now we don't know how much power it'll add. We don't know if there will be an actual like pure EV range you might get from this vehicle. We don't know if it's just going to be a regular uh, a hybrid system or a plug-in. We don't know that stuff yet. We'll just have to wait and see. But I wonder what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this new Toyota uh, Tundra? And what are your guesses? What are your guesses for towing? What are your guesses for uh, cab configurations? Let me know all your guesses and comments down below. I truly appreciate it, guys. But that's all I have for you. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything. But please, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.